All right, this is Kevin Hellions here for TeamHellions.com. I am at the 2CW Cease and Desist Tour in Rome, New York, on Friday night, and I'm here with Steve McKenzie, the Killer Steves. What's going on, Steve? Not too much, sir. How are you? Oh, excellent. You just had a tag team match. That's true. There was a little bit of uh, a worry amongst the fans, though, for this, because your usual partner, Steve Cruz, was injured, or is injured, for either present tense. That is true. But you got to team up with Loca Vida. How did that work out? Are you fluent in Spanish? I know did zero you, Spanish. Did you go through a translator for this? No, I honestly had no idea. I thought he was wrestling Jay Freddy tonight. As, as we all Because that's what was advertised. I went out there to take on the Olsen Twins by myself. I earned this title match. I was going to do it no matter what. I didn't have a partner. Steve Cruz has a bulging disc in his back. So he is out for... I have no idea how long. So I went out there ready to fight the Olsons, and thankfully, Mokabita came in and gave me a hand because it wasn't going so well for me. With with the Killer Steve singlet as well. Now, you might have to talk to him later about rummaging through your bag. Yeah, he I reprimanded him right in the ring about that. That's excellent. I mean, it's a nice tribute, but, you know, just ask first. Yeah, it, it really didn't fit him either. I don't know if you noticed. It's, I'm like... Six to eight inches taller than him. That's true. How tall are you, sir? Give me, give me your wrestling specs here. Six two, ish. Because I honestly don't know my. Depends exact on time right. of day. Uh, you know, six when you two, wake up, you're taller. And three pounds. Of solid steel. Well, right now, actually, I'm fresh off of vacation, so I'm probably more like two oh five and not so <laughs> solid at the moment. That's why I was wearing a singlet. Excellent. Now I've seen you in lots of matches in two CW and all. Uh, let, let the fans know, like, what else are you doing? Um, where else are you going? I know I've, uh, you've done some top rope shows as well. I have not. That's the yeah. other Steve. I have. I, I have thought Freddie. you and Freddie did a road trip there. No, myself and Freddie have traveled to Jersey together. I apologize. And Pennsylvania. Okay. But never to top rope. Never top rope. I apologize oh, for that. Not a problem. Like, I have been contacted by top rope in the past. It just didn't work out. Myself and Cruz could not get there when they needed us for a tag team tournament. Um, it's possible in the future. I wouldn't mind checking it out. I haven't wrestled in the New England area in like probably five or six years. The scheduling is a problem, always in person. Sometimes it is, yeah, because I do all the 2CW shows and then sporadically I will wrestle other promotions in New York State, such as In Your Face Wrestling and NWA Capital, Ultimate Wrestling, and then I travel to parts of Pennsylvania and Jersey. It seems to be the main ones I've been going to lately. And I'll travel anywhere at least once, and if I don't like what's going on there, or the promotion is, you know, not to be a dick, but some promotions don't draw well, they don't promote properly, and I will not continuously go to somewhere like that. Like, I want the best. I want good opponents, and hopefully people there soon. Sometimes you just got some money marked that doesn't know what he's doing. Well, you know what, I'll go anywhere if the money is right. Oh, well, that's fair. Now, as, we, as you pointed out, uh, your usual tech team partner is injured, so what does the future hold? Do you want to find a new tech team partner? Do you want to go off on a uh, singles career? What, I what are am, you looking at for your own I future? honestly have no idea. In 2CW, I am still going to be competing on the shows. A few other places where we do, where we team up, I'm not probably going to be traveling to until he is ready to go. Uh, here right now, I will do whatever the promotion wants me to. Um, if they want me to team with a fill-in or find a new partner, I mean, I will do it. Uh, I would prefer to probably just do singles for the time being because uh, replacing Cruz is going to be weird because we've been teaming for seven years now, if uh, memory serves me right. So you're saying we're not going to see Steve yeah. search part two? Um, if that's what they ask me to do, <laughs> then yes, because uh, I'll do whatever, whatever they want me to do. But... Um, no, that's not my plan. I would rather do singles or, you know, teaming with Loca Vita. We've done it elsewhere, so that would work, too. And if Cruz, when Cruz is healthy to come back, Loca Vita, obviously one of mine, stepping aside and letting the Steves reform and hopefully beat up the Olsen Twins. Maybe it could be Trio's team. We, we could, have done that. Could get some Chikara action We've going on. We've done that for about 10 months, and for the most part, it didn't work out so well for us. <laughs> Now, uh, this is a new market, Rome, New York, for 2CW, and apparently a very successful market. It is doing very well, yes. But it seems to me, uh, my experience in going to wrestling shows that you have to win over fans sometimes. You have your, yeah. I don't want to say smart marks, but your people that feel they're too cool to watch wrestling. They're going for the irony, for the joke. And then 2CW always wins them over by the end of the night, where they become marks, and they're ridiculous, and they're cheering at every point. Yeah, for you as a wrestler, you're in the ring, you're someone saying, this sucks. 
you know, we want tables some stupid chant because they're not paying attention to the hard work you and your opponent are doing in the ring. Does it bother you? Do you zone it out? Do you say, I need to try that much harder? Or do you say, screw you, this isn't for you, obviously. I'll do it for the hundreds of other fans that are paying attention and um, do want to see this. Usually, thankfully, I don't hear too much of that when I'm in the ring. Usually people are paying attention or getting popcorn. I don't know. <laughs> but it, I don't usually hear too many people like, oh, this sucks, oh, blah, blah, blah. But if it does happen, I don't care. You know, I'm out there to wrestle and to beat up my opponent. I try to entertain the fans. Obviously, not everybody's going to like me. Not everybody's going to like what I'm doing. Can't win them all, you know? So I just, you know, for the fans who are into it, who come to see me, which, believe it or not, some do. Very odd. Um, yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm there for, to entertain them. And I try to win them over, but if I don't, I don't. Some people still hate me from when we feuded with All Money is Legal. There are still fans Thanks. of Syracuse who are like, you suck, All Money is Legal is better. And I have to inform them that All Money is Legal has not been here for two years. Get over it. That's, hey, it's almost 15 years later and people are still chanting you screwed breath and crap that like true. that, you know? Uh, thank you so much, Steve. Uh, fans want to follow you? Do you want to give out your Twitter or anything else on here? Uh, I know you're not on it that much, but... Yeah, there's... once I open up that Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter was the way I was hammering Twitter a while That's ago. That's true, that, I know. And it was ridiculous, if you remember. Married with Children quotes everywhere. It, but... it, got, it got us chanting Woe Freddy, though, at Wartown <laughs> shows. And, and uh, Wartown on the map now for Claudio walking down the streets in his tights. I don't know if you've seen that video. Or not. I haven't, but I've gone I'll send in public and tights too. It happens. It happens. But uh, yeah, if you want to follow me. Do you want to give me, the Facebook address then? Yeah, well, if you want to follow me on the Twitter, it's twitter.com slash stevemckenzie00 or facebook.com slash stevemckenzie00. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. All right, thank you so much, Steve. It's been oh, a pleasure. Welcome, Anytime I see a match that you're in, always bust your ass, man. Yes, I do. You do. Thank you so much. That's what I do. I punch people right in the face. Right in the face. <laughs>